Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to talk about signals in terms of the signals mod from Mine Martin. So let's get started. So here are the different items which are provided by signal uh, by sig the signals mod. So we've got a, a block signal. This basically allows the carts to go in one direction. A chain signal. This sort of links bits together. I'm not 100% sure because there's really no documentation on this at all. A station marker, which gives you a station um, mark stations. A rail link, which I'm not sure what this one does at all. I haven't played with this at all. Transport rail forces carts to go in one direction. The limiter rail slows carts down so that they go at minimum speed in order so they can actually stop exactly on a particular point. Uh, the teleport rail is allows carts to teleport, but only between different dimensions. The cart hopper is a basically it's just a hopper to extract items out of the cart. And then we've got the rail configurator, as it does tell you which uh, press shift on it. So this item requires most uh, is the most interactive in signals. Additionally, it will show you some information about the rail network. Right click carts to define this destinations right click inventories to define filter matching behavior when adjusting uh, when adjacent to station markers that I haven't played with either and we got this um, rail network controller oops it does actually to show you it shows the uh, an overview of the rail network in your world you're currently in left clicking a signal forces it to turn green right clicking it to force it to go red then we got a cart engine the cart engine is uh, basically gives a cart, Minecraft standard cart, an engine, and the same with the chunk loader upgrade. It gives it a chunk loader, which is great. And then we got tickets. I'll look at those pretty soon, actually. So I've set up a little rail network over here. As you can see, here's a, that's what a station marker looks like. What I'm going to do is put a, well, put a cart on it already, and the cart has already got an engine in it, and it's also got a Let's have a look. It's actually got some destinations set up, but we can ignore those. Destination three, okay. Oh, that's the, the, that destination. I'm not sure it's highlighting that one, probably because that's where it was. So this is a little network here, and it's forcing. As you can see here, it's got pink. Well, it looks like pink, and the carts are allowed to go in both directions. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to force this cart to go round the outside of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down here a uh, power drill and also I'm going to put beside the power drill a um, block marker, a block signal. So let's put down the power drill like this, if I can. Now this does and doesn't work sometimes, so I'm having some strange effects. I'll come back in a second and I have to restart the game. So I've put down the tracks these four and I hope that's enough for the, to power the train around it might not be so what we'll do now is we'll put down some of these block um, signals on each one of these like this as it goes out so it should give this a power um, in all four cases like this so that's so they're all saying red um, one of these should actually not be red <laughs> I'm not sure why it's saying it's red let's give it a push See now that's actually green, and it's just got just about got enough power now to go around these like this, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to allow this cart. To, we'll put down some station markers. So we're going to put down four station markers at each of these ends over here. It, it doesn't really matter where we put them, just so long as they're somewhere. So let's put them, for example, at the end of this one. We'll call this one station. It says station nine, but we won't do that. We'll just do station one. We'll just call it position one, like that. And then we're going to come over here, and we're going to put down another one here. We're going to call this one two. I don't know how the numbers were automatic numbers generating this, but they sort of do it sort of strangely. Maybe a bit strangely. We'll put this one down here. We'll put this one three. And then we'll put another one down over here, which we'll call four. The cart stopped. Uh -huh. 
so all I'm doing is pressing control A, selecting it, pressing control A, typing the, the new name and then pressing escape again. So you'll see this actually cart has got something going on inside it. I'll have a look at that in a second. So now it shouldn't have stopped. Why did it stop? Let's give it a push. Ah yes, now it's because we've done something like this, these station markers in. This cart has actually got a uh, station in it. Let's have a look at this cart. Right click it. See it's now got a schedule in here. I should have got rid of that schedule first of all. Let's just delete this schedule. Um, easiest way to delete is you just break it and you see what happens so now let's, I've got to put these tracks back as I wanted them to be so let's just do that just take this marker here right click it to, till we get it to go in the direction I want it to go into this one was not right that was that's okay so that's fine now so we can put this cart back down again like this and you'll notice now it's, it's highlighted these. They're all they went on before they were, weren't on, were they? If I remember rightly, break that. So they're all green at the moment. All of these mark, all of these chain block markers are green until I put down the cart like that. And then some of them are going to be green and some of them are going to be red. And actually, they're all red. Okay. So now <clears throat> all we have to do is give it a push, and it should go around all of these places like that. It should have enough powered rails in order for it to just about get round. And if it doesn't, we have to give it a little bit of a help, which we sometimes have to do. Now, to give it a little bit of help, all I'm going to do is put down another powered rail, say, here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to have to put down, but we'll, we'll find out. And beside that, I'll put down that redstone torch. And then that one should have reached this one. Let's give this a push. if it's going to work we'll do the same thing over here put down a marker here and a powered rail beside it like that <laughs> just creeping around isn't it Let's try again give a push so that's now behaving as it should do now we have these tickets the recipe for the tickets was fairly straightforward. Just some paper around a station marker. The station markers, three basically four pieces of four ingots of iron and some three die, green die. And that gives you a station marker. So what you can then do is you can take one of these tickets here, um, and you can right click a markers with it. So just, I'm going to just do one like this. We'll start over here. So this is this is number one. So that's now a number added to the root. This is number two. This is number three. And this is number four. It must be night time because mobs are attacking me. And I've set up a gun. I've set up a sentry turret to keep me protected from that. Let's get rid of that guy before we think about it. So they're attacking. Oops, <coughs> I got in the way of the car. So sorry. Go on, here you go. So what you can then do is take this ticket and apply this ticket to the car. And these, but before we do that, we've got to put down these link um, chain links like this. And what you do with these, you put them at the beginning of each junction you want to go at, like that. And beside it, you've got to put down a golden rail, a powered rail. So you put down the powered rail here, and then you put beside that one of these. And then you come to the next one that you want to, to cross, which is this whoop, wrong place. That's like that and then put this one down here like this and the cart should be able to go through these places I'm not 100% sure what it means with the um, blinking yellow so we're gonna that's the first row and then the second row we're gonna do the same like this so I'll put down the markers here like that and there and we'll do the same over here so we're going in this direction all the time and you always play these on the right hand side and besides each one of these you need to place a powered rail so I may not need these other rails down here like this so that's powered for that um, wrong that's wrong I shouldn't have needed to do that one because that's for this particular rail here so I just replace it like that and then that's one done and then this one is for these two here like this 
what these are going to do is they're going to change these points so and again we'll do it from this direction now that one and that one and then of course this is for this particular direction so we need one here and one here and I think that's all the positions that we need to set up now now we can give this cart another push now it should go around all the outsides like that as you can see it's highlighting the uh, well this is it goes past it changes from yellow to red and then green again you can't see the green flashing as it happens but I think it does do it otherwise it would stop the so next thing what we we can do is put down another cart and I'm going to put this cart in the middle here because that that cart is not going across these two at all like that Oops, it went it decided to go off by itself, which it didn't want it to do. And then it breaks the network. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change this one. So I want this cart just to go between this station marker here, which is four, and presumably this one over here is two. Two. So, so let's take another ticket here. I just right click these like this. We can of course do it directly in the cart and then apply this to this one here yeah thank you <laughs> well because it's night time things are the things are active um let me just get out of the cut one on let's do it like this right click this you, see, you can also do it like this of course we would want two and then we'd want four and then this will behave differently than the other cards so let's give it a push and also give this cart a push and stand back and we should be able to see what's going on so one of these carts should be going around the outside and the other one should be going through the, the different pieces now sometimes as you see they go together which I don't think they should be doing but one of the carts should be going across and when it gets stuck like this, the easiest way to do to sort this out is to by giving it a powered um, block here. So we can just put, basically put a powered block. We've got two choices. We'll just put down a powered rail and a torch beside it, or we could put down a um, a block uh, a signal. So let's put down a block signal here. Oops. Try again. make sure that we don't need any creepers around here I'm not sure I can't the gun can't reach him there we are. so anyway so let's try this again <laughs> lots of distractions they are supposed to stop and if they so this one stopped here but it shouldn't have done let's give this another powered rail here and make sure we put the block signal on the right hand side of this oh that might not be good actually because it might affect be affecting this one so let's give it a power power actually it won't make any difference will it just power it so that should stop there now it's green and it should go again but it doesn't look to me as though one of these carts is behaving the way I expect it to behave which is going around the outsides of this why not? let's have a check of these carts unless I've hit the wrong oh this one hasn't got a schedule at all and this one's got two and four so why has this not got a schedule? we'll put the right schedule in it'll be this one so we now put this into here like this. Must have broken the cart. Like that. And there it goes. Obviously too fast around this corner because it came off the tracks. Let's push this back again. You can push carts onto rails. So when it's doing this, it's going too fast. I've done something wrong. I've basically got too many of these in. 
So let's just uh, <laughs> break these again. It's a fiddly business, to be honest with you. You have to keep trying until you get it right. And it's not that so easy to get it right as you want it to do. Get over there, you push it around. That's one cart, and they'll push the other one back in again. It might be that it's just too. I can't push it in. I was the other way, of course, I can break it and push it back again. But I'm pretty sure you can just push it onto the rails. Go on there, go on. Right, I'll give it with it. Which one was this one? Let's have a look. This is the, one, this is the two and four one, okay. So I'll break the two and four one. And we'll put that in the middle. Put it on this one here like that. You can see this is a two and four ticket. It's only got two lines in it. It does sort of represent what you've done in here too. Um, <clears throat> where's it gone to? Okay, so now we just right click it with the ticket. Ah, I didn't right click with it. It was too slow. Try again. <laughs> One of these is going to stop in a second, and I'm not sure which way it is. Let's just stand. Here. Let's just stand there and so I can get it. <laughs> Can't get it. <laughs> That's the one, two, three, four. That's the two and four ticket. Ah, oh, goodness gracious me! I'll just stand in the way. If I stand in the way, I should be able to stop the cart. Good. Right. So now you can see one of those carts should be going between positions two and four, and the other one should be going all the way around if it doesn't come off the rails, of course. Which is um, a bit of a problem sometimes. It's, but we're not using these type of carts in this in this pack. Well, I'm not using these carts in this pack at the moment. I'm basically just using this because I'm to get on the rails again. Good. I'm using Steve carts, and they behave differently. Now, what's going on here? You see, it fell off the track again. So let's just put down an iron rail here. It's just going too fast, that's the problem. When you, you've not got it in, it's going too slowly. Um, tell you what we'll do, we'll put down a powered rail here and hopefully that's enough for it to go around. Good. Seems to be going around fine. Let's get this cart back on here, the rails again. There it goes. Now that shouldn't go, it shouldn't have collided, it should have stopped. But as you can see, this cart is going around that loop and this cart should be going around the other loop. Let's push it again. <laughs> so it's a bit tricky sometimes to get this set up right, but it's going should be going around the right place now. There we go. It doesn't always work as expected. See that stopped as it should have done on that track because it's got no exit, but it rolled back again. Maybe I'll put down another powered rail in front of it. I'll see what happens there. Anyway, you can spend a long time messing around with this thing. And this one's now stopped. And see the push, the, what happens there is it pushes itself back. But it didn't stop. And then the colliding. This is not how it's supposed to be, and I'm not a hundred percent sure how to get it to work as I want it to work. So there must be some tricks. I don't know what they are. If you know, let me know because I'll figure them out eventually. But as I said, there's no documentation on these things at all. Uh, I'm not sure about the link stations either, link rails either. We can have a look at one of those and see what it does, if anything. Put it down here, for example. 
Uh, it's red with the yellow top on it. Now, does that have an interface? Hold delay. Okay, so it holds the. It's got a delay on it, but nothing else in there that I can see. That's just maps. Um, all right, you don't need anything special in here. Can I use an empty hand to do this as well? Of course. How long and passing what should be. St as if it was still at the rail link. Don't know. I don't know what those do. Um, but I think I know what most of the other bits and, and pieces are doing. What we can, of course, do is replace these carts. Now, what I didn't show you yet is the is the engine and the chunk loader. Let's put the chunk loader into this. Obviously, a chunk loader is a chunk loader. It's no big deal about that. We can just put it like that. And then right-click them on the cart. And you see they get the particle effect. And then you can put the engines into these, like this. Now there's multiple ways of filling these engines up with some installed cart, you see? There's multiple ways of filling these up. Obviously the one way is to use the um, this device. Where is the coal? I think I might have put it into a chest. I have got some a backpack here that I got dropped from a mob. It's got some coal in here. I've also got some um, charcoal. Let me go and get the charcoal. I don't think I left the charcoal in here, no. Oh, I've got a nitwit. Ah, very good. Um, charcoal. Let's take a check of luck. So you can power a cart with some charcoal. So you just put a piece of whatever, a stack or whatever you want to put in there, a piece, of, uh, piece. And then that should power it up automatically. Let's give it a push. And you should see it smoking. Like that. Now there is another way to get um, a cart to be powered. Uh, to fill it in, and that's to use a hopper. Now, obviously, we want the hopper to st when it stops. Like that would be a good place here. I saw it stopping here. So we can put a a hopper on top of it like this. Right click the hopper on top of it. That will then fill the cart up. Of course, if we've got to put some charcoal in it first as well. Like that, and you'll see it's got taken out, and the next cart along will take it again when it's stopped. So now you see both of those two carts have got their smoke smoke out, out coming out of them the back, so they're now powered. <laughs> Looks quite good, doesn't it? And it actually seems to be working slightly better in this particular with powered carts than it was working with uh, unpowered carts. But don't ask me what I have to do to get that to work properly with unpowered carts. So what we can do, of course, is the same thing for this. For this, uh, I have got a cart that's coming around here, and I want this cart to come around here and then go this way like this and then it's going to come up here and it's going to go to the diamond quarry which is over this way you'll see I've just orientated this direction so it forces it to go along here and it shouldn't go back in that direction and it's going to come up here and go along to the quarry and I put a station marker beside the quarry here like that so that's the, the quarry diamond uh, I've got another station marker over here. If I can get there without getting too scrumpled. By the cargo area here. Put this one, this one's called cargo. Like that. And there's a third one. So if we have a look at the. Uh, let's have a look at a ticket. That's probably the easiest way to do it. You right click a ticket and you can put items, uh, markers into it. So here, for example, I've got, I've got a quarry. I think that's the iron quarry. This is the village. That's the port where the village is, and this is the other one on the other side where the jungle base is. I don't know where item is. I must have one called item somewhere or other. I have to find it and remove it. And when I remove it, it should disappear from this list. I think that's how it works. So this cart, there it is now. 
should go to the quarry next. I've, I've actually put these into the quarry. As you can see, it hits the powered rails and goes like a rocket. And that, as you saw it, it did turn in this direction here. And it is going towards the quarry. Let's just fucking get to it. Right click it. No, not with that one. I need to right click it with this one. Yeah, it's going to the village and then it's coming back to the cargo and then it's coming to the quarry. And it just seems to work. It's now going to go around here and come back again. And I don't think I need to do anything else for it to work as I want it to work, which is really what it's all about. Anyway, it must be night time because it's using lava power. Oh, <laughs> oh I heard the chinking of my armor oh, and I was going, what in the earth is that? Yes, it's definitely night time. I wouldn't have been getting attacked, would I? So as it comes back here, it should then trundle off to the to that other place. Let's go around, overtake it a bit if I can, which I can't. Walked into the wall. That seems to be a new thing as well. I haven't been able to walk into walls before. everything going black without taking damage so this time it should come instead of going through this loop it should come here that's a straight rail sometimes and I'm not exactly 100% sure why this happens is it was going to go I had got it set to the right hand side here and put an activator on it and it was going this way around so it's coming back in here And as you can see, these two carts are actually working as I expect them to do now. Don't ask me why. So that, that cart then trundles off over here. Goes to the quarry. I can beat it to it, hopefully. Oops. <laughs> oh, right, okay. In the process of doing that, of course, I'm getting attacked. All over the place. Another one over there. Get rid of him. Make sure there are no uh, creepers around to blow my stuff up. And then it comes along there, and then it goes along the quarry here, which we've seen before. And there's a the cart. Is it going? Still going in that direction. And all it does at the end here is turn around and come back again. Like that. And it drops anything off that it needs to drop off. Now, at the moment, it's I've designed it so it doesn't drop anything off, it just stops. And the reason for that is it's, if you see this one here, so this face is the red face. So on the red face, it's just coming from to the cart. So everything's going to the cart. So if I put anything here, it'll be picked up. So for example, let's put in, say, um, let's put in these into the red side like that. And eventually these will actually appear in the cargo base at, back at base so we come down there fall into the water get out and we come back over here and eventually they will appear over here it will drop them off into this into this cargo manager here and in fact I think that's the next thing it does so here it comes along Because it's not got anything to drop off this time because we didn't do it. we didn't do it. But I tell you what, I'll wait a few seconds. While I'm doing that, while I'm waiting, I'll just move these uh, villages to the villager place, and I'll see you in a few seconds. So here it comes back again. Oops, going the wrong direction. And it should drop off the, the, those few bits and pieces that we had in there. So look, yeah, 51 levers. And if I put anything in there, it'll then disappear off to the port. It takes quite a long time for it to actually go around the trip, but it does work. Now, funnily enough, these run out of coal, but they seem to be working exactly as I had set them up at the beginning. So don't ask me why. <laughs> it's working just as it should do, but they seem to be. Of course, having said that, it's going to break as soon as you do this, isn't it? So maybe that was the trick, just to put some bits into it to start with. So that's really coming up, as I say, I seem to be getting more and more sort of technical problems. 
So I'm coming really to the, towards the end of this pack. I think I've done everything I want to do with it. One last thing here, we've got a nitwit. Um, as you can see, how long has he got to before he grows up? 100 seconds. I'll come back in a short few seconds when he's grown up. Right, any second now he'll grow up, so we'll just capture into the wand here, and we'll, we'll here we go. I'll pick him up. They're not completely useless, actually. If I could put him back down, can I put him back in the cart? No, I can't. Well, I could put him down there. You, but they, they're not much use. You can right-click them, and they don't talk to you because they're nitwits. But there is use for them, of course, in this pack. I'll show you what the use is. <laughs> Let's well, just come over here, and we will. Um, <clears throat> I have a little hole in the ground here. And it's le leading to this stuff, so let's just drop the nitwit down there like that. Oops, I missed him. Try again. Let's do it down there like that. So then he drops into the lava, uh, into the iron. It's actually iron I've got there. If you have a look downstairs quickly, I'm going to get a lift here. For some reason, the lift always goes to the bottom. If we have a look in here, I've got some emeralds in here 114 millibuckets of emeralds now the uses of this is in the crafting so we basically need a hundred one gems worth is 660 millibuckets so i've got to get a few of those and then eventually we'll end up with a free emerald <laughs> very brutal i've also got some blood in there i'm not quite sure that probably comes from the, the village as well um, <clears throat> that's very good maybe i'm at least it's not mixing with the iron yet. So what I could do with this, I've got six blocks of iron. I could remove the iron out of here like this. Um, but there is something else I'd like to show you. One last thing. Let's get into this. Some of these villages are actually outstanding. This one here is an outstanding village. It's a structural engineer. So he'll give me an emeralds for 15 treated wood sticks. Which is not very much. See if you look at that. The recipe of that one. Uh, you can't do it like that. He'll also give me uh, some treat wood sta scaffolding for an emerald. That's okay, not very exciting really. Or balloons. But the one that is quite an, an amazing one is this one. Steel scaffolding for one emerald. Like that. So that's pretty good. And also the next one along is pretty good as well. That's two iron will give you... Um, so that's basically one iron ingots will give you two of those, won't it? Slag, you get five, we'll give you an emerald. So yep, yeah, there's no shortage of slag, that's for certain. Uh, and eventually you can get a mineral deposit, mining map from him. So you give him a copper and twelve emeralds. So you know where some cinnabar is, which is redstone. Very noisy around here. Let me just get a little bit further away from them. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you learnt something new about signals. I'm still learning a little bit about this. I don't fully understand them yet. Anyway, next time, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another episode in this series or not. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, I'll say bye for now.